Hey guys, it's Adrian from BHA here bringing you a new video. So a few weeks back I did a video on Hikvision motion sensors and how you can set those up in Home Assistant. You can take a look at that video here. But somebody mentioned that they wanted to see how to set up the Hikvision cameras in uh, Home Assistant. And those are just basically RTSP cameras, so they're super easy to set up. So I thought we would do a quick video on how we get that going. Let's check it out. So there are multiple ways that you can set up RTSP cameras in Home Assistant. Um, I generally use just the generic camera uh, integration and it works pretty well for me and that's what we're going to cover here today. This is a pretty quick video, it shouldn't take too long to put all this together, but we'll try to cover everything that we need to cover uh, to make all this work. So let's do a quick run through of everything we're going to cover in this video. So of course for starters we're going to go over any prerequisites that we need to have set up for this to work properly. Once we do that then of course we'll go through the configuration in Home Assistant itself. And then of course lastly I'll show you what that looks like in action. So let's get started. So there's not a lot of prerequisites that you need for this to work properly. Uh, for the most part, you're going to need to know what the URL path is for the RTSP stream uh, for your particular camera. And of course, depending on your configuration, this may be uh, streams that are defined on your NVR, or it could be the actual camera itself. And there are different ways to go about finding this out, but I'll uh, post this URL that goes to uh, a particular website that has lots of different streams based on different models and everything else and what those streams might be. Some of it may just be kind of trial and error on how you set all that up, so you'll just kind of have to play around with it. But you will need to know whatever your RTSP port number is that you have defined for that camera or NVR. Uh, by default it should be 554. Uh, as you can see here I have mine uh, reconfigured as 8554. That's really just my preference. You also need to know the username and password used to access that camera. So if you're using your admin just make sure you know the admin account and the password. If you've created one like I did, I have one called Has that I use specifically for Home Assistant. But you'll need that username and password in order for everything to uh, be able to connect in. Once you have all that information, we're ready to move on to the next step. All right, so uh, for editing our Home Assistant configuration, I'm going to edit the uh, cameras.yaml file here. That's where I have all of my camera integrations and components configured for Home Assistant. As you can see here, I've already got it all built out. Uh, I have cameras set up for my front door, my carport, my back door. And we'll just kind of run through uh, one of the configurations here just to kind of explain kind of what everything is here. The platform, of course, is generic and I gave it a name so the name of course uh, we'll just say front door for that first one here now for the still image URL this is the image that will show uh, whenever it's not actually streaming the camera so this points back to uh, the still image that is stored from the NVR and again you can play around with these URLs uh, to determine if they'll work properly for your uh, camera NVR setup and then under username and password, of course, this is the username and password that you have defined for your camera or NVR. And then stream source, this is the stream source that we talked about earlier. Uh, you'll need to know that RTSP stream. Uh, again, I'll have all this in the description below so that you can copy and paste it and play around with it a little bit. Once you have all that in there, you can go ahead and save it.
Then of course you're going to jump over to the web interface here. We'll do a check configuration to make sure everything looks good. The nice thing about the current versions of Home Assistant is we don't have to restart for the changes to take effect. We can go down to the Reload Generic Camera Entities um, button here and it will reload those generic camera entities without having to restart all of Home Assistant. Give that a second to come back up and then we're going to move on to the last step and we will see it in action. Alright, so here we are back in the web interface of Home Assistant, uh, and as you can see I'm kind of on my little test page here towards the back that I have uh, uh, various things that I use for testing with, and there is my front camera. So everything looks good, we'll click on it here, and as you can see it pulls up the live stream and it's currently uh, playing the uh, stream there without any issues whatsoever. So. Like I said, this is a pretty easy setup, not a whole lot to it. As long as you know your RTSP stream, you are good to go. But that's the end of the video, guys. So let's do a quick run through of everything we covered in this video. So of course, again, for starters, we just kind of went over some prerequisites that you needed for this to work properly. Uh, once we did that, then we went through the configuration in Home Assistant itself. And then, of course, lastly, we just took a look at the camera and showed you what it looked like in action. I want to thank everybody for donating to my Buy Me a Coffee link. Every little bit helps. Uh, if you haven't had a chance, jump over to my Teespring merchandise page and check out all the Burns Home Automation merchandise. And again, if you're looking for VPN service, check out IP Vanish. I will have the link in the description below. Check it out, see what you think about their stuff. Also, if you are interested in trading stocks, check out Robinhood.com. I'll have the link for the description below for that as well. And if you sign up through me, you and I both will get a free share of stock. So that's pretty cool. If that's something that you haven't played around with, Robinhood is an easy way to dive into that with limited resources and it makes it very easy to buy and sell stock. As always, if you like the video, please subscribe to my channel. If you have any questions or comments, hit me up in the comments below. If there are any videos out there that you would like to see that I don't already have out there, let me know in the comments as well and I'll see if I can't get something put together for you guys. Otherwise, I'll see you guys around. Thanks.